Hey guys, Nick Carlson here with Dawson Manufacturing, home of the Snowmate. Now guys, I know you under I understand that you wanted this thing electrified. I heard you loud and clear last year. Well, guess what? Here she is. This thing is an absolute beast. We have put a lot of time and effort into this. I think I made more prototypes of these different parts than any other thing I've ever made because I wanted this thing to be strong and I wanted it to last for a long, long time. So we'll start with the fun little stuff, right? This is my favorite part. This is the vertical lift actuator. Now I know a lot of you think, oh, why don't you use winch? Well, guess what? There's no proximity sensors in a winch. Proximity sensor is what's gonna allow this thing to move and stop where we tell it to a predetermined location. That's extremely important because while you're out there in the middle of the night, freezing your tail off, trying to knock out these jobs, you don't wanna be thinking about your equipment. You just wanna think about that job and get it done, right? So what we did here is we actually made this an automatic unit. Check this out. So I'm just gonna press the button, now look at this ram right here. My hands aren't doing anything. It's automatically doing everything for me. I'm gonna switch it again here. Press it on the control panel. Look at this, goes down, even gives you a little slack in the system. Why is there slack in that system? Well, as this plow press over a hill and the plow starts to drop before the mower does, it gives room for that plow to drop down. Another thing you guys always talk about is down pressure. Plows typically don't use down pressure. Think about a pickup truck. It always has chains holding that thing up. It's just using, utilizing the weight of that plow. Now, I understand this isn't as heavy as one of those. How do we get around that? Well, this lower spine down here is much lower than normal. It's got a certain angle of pitch to it. And then the pitch of the blade at the front is at a higher, steeper angle. So as it hits that material, it's actually digging in and trying to cut through that snow and ice. That's why it's designed that way, where it doesn't need that down pressure. We've also added this spring into the system. So if this unit ever went up, okay, like you see here, and say you rammed into something, I want this spring to fail before the actuator. So you actually have some pressure there and allows you to uh, have that expansion and allow the system not to fail, right? So we have a predetermined location. If something were to see an overload situation, we've got that taken care of, all right? So that's that. Now, I'm gonna leave it up here. Let's talk about the side-to-side -side actuator. The big thing for me was it had to be fast. That's pretty fast. It's got an over a thousand pound actuator here on the side, pushing it left and right. Okay, you see it? Now this unit is not an automatic. You can stop it wherever you want. And the big thing of all with all of this is it simply hooks to your battery. There are no relays. There are no crazy wiring. It's a simple a, uh, SAE connectors. As you can see down here, simple ASE connector like you would find, um, kind of like on a trailer, but it's only a two-way, not a four-way. And it has all the covers built in. So when you take this unit off, you can keep it clean as you mow throughout the summer. Really, really sweet setup. Now, with this actuator on the bottom, it goes left to right. The big thing about it is this thing still has to be able to trip. That was the hardest part of the whole system. And as you can see, the actuator doesn't move, just the plow itself. And then once this uh, cable sees over tension, the spring gives way. That's why the system is designed the way it is. So that is the new Snowmate Power Pack. Find it at MulchMateUSA.com. Keep again, keep in mind again, guys. You're talking about a 36 inch wide plow. This thing is going to fit any sidewalk. When you kick it to the left or kick it to the right, you're at 31 inches. So you're really, really going to be able to slice and dice through all that. Okay. Now, after you do your walkways, say you want to do some bigger driveways whatever you want to cover some more ground we can take this this unit from 36 inches all the way out to 52 inches by adding our winglets these just slide right in place have four bolts and it goes right into place now i'm not going to put this in because i don't have the hardware pulled out well, actually you know what i can pull this hardware out okay so oh i gotta do this too four bolts pull them out we even give you a tool right here on the back side. See the little black wrench? Slide that system right on in. Drop that hardware in that we provided you that I just threw all over the floor, and you're good to go. Now you have 52 inches once you add both winglets on either side. Uh, that thing is actually gonna perform really, really well for you and get it all done. You can see it's got that scooping effect, so it's not just gonna allow the snow to just fly off the sides. Eventually it will once it piles up, but you can check out some of our videos online of this thing plowing snow. It is an absolute beast. Do not let the size fool you, and don't let these little mowers fool you. They are super, super uh, capable. It's unbelievable. Okay, guys, so that's your uh, Snowmate. Check it out at MulchMateUSA.com, and get that thing ordered to ship right to you, UPS.